U.S. postal workers brave snow, rain, and heat to bring us the mail. But what about guard dogs? Letter carriers are trying to raise awareness of the dangers they face from aggressive dogs on a daily basis. KTLA Steve Cooge live in Florence. Steve, I'm a little worried because I feel like you're going to show us something, and uh, I don't want you to get hurt out there. <laughs> You guys are worried. I was at a wildfire yesterday. Now I'm at dog attack training today. I don't know if you guys are trying to kill me or just get me to quit. I don't understand it. But we have to talk about dog safety because Dog Bite Attack Week is coming up right here, Dog Bite Awareness Week. And the Los Angeles area has the very unflattering distinction as being known as the dog bite capital of the country when it comes to mail carriers. These guys got a tough job, and this only makes their job a little more difficult, more unpleasant. I'm here with Alan of Sit Mean Sit Dog Training. And Alan, you're going to give us a demonstration of what it's like when a dog actually runs at one of these postal employees and latches on. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so uh, Flash is a Flash is in all actuality is just a pup. He's only a year old, mm -hmm. and uh, but he has been trained to do this, so it's perfectly safe. But this will give you an idea of what of what it's like to be jostled around, mm -hmm. and quite possibly pulled to the ground, and, and done some serious damage. Oh, good, good, yes, and not hopefully not bloody damage though. No, not for you. <laughs> okay. That's the that's the whole reason for the for the sleep. Yeah, right. Okay. Well, this should hopefully protect me while we get Flash out here, which I believe uh, Flash is a German Shepherd. Belgian right? Malinois. A Bel Belgian Malinois. Okay. We have an audience of uh, probably a few dozen postal employees. A lot of these guys early. How many of you guys have been attacked by dogs before? You see, look at these hands. On a daily basis, this is the stuff that they have to deal with. So I feel like I might as well take a bit of their pain too for once. Uh, all right, so you guys just let me know when you're ready. Right leg out. Right leg out, okay. Sideways like this, okay. All right. So here we go. Oh. <laughs> This, he's got a good bite on him. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I have this on my arm. <laughs> this is, maybe this should be standard for all mail carriers to have along with the mail bag. <laughs> okay. There you go. That's a good cardio workout. Nice job. He's got, nice job. Good job. Well, Flash has got some teeth on him. <laughs> well. This is a very controlled situation, as you see. This dog is extremely yeah. well cared for and trained. He knows what he's doing. You guys, Alan, you've done this many, many times before. Yes. What kind of advice do you give to these postal employees when they're dealing with, you know, an upset, a, a, a kind of a scared dog when they're going into a yard to deliver the mail? Well, first off is to be aware that the dog actually has, it could actually be <laughs> frightened, and that's what you're dealing with more than anything else. <laughs> Down. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> the, um... And, and to be aware of their surroundings, first and foremost. Flash, come. Oh. <laughs> Easy, Flash. Down. Good oh boy. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't look him in the eyes. <laughs> right, so, so, the, so the couple of things are you never look a dog directly in the eyes. Use barriers to your, to your advantage, whether that's a satchel, a garbage can, whatever it could be. Sit. Down. Uh-huh. Um, but barriers, dogs are not trained to go through barriers like flashes. Mm -hmm. So being able to use that and back yourself out of the situation, but just focus the attention of the dog on something mm -hmm. that, can, that can draw his attention away from you and onto it. Right. That's great, great advice, Alan. Thank you so much for letting us do this and Absolutely. showing everybody out there how to stay safe from dog attacks. And uh, Flash here is, he is, he is a really nice guy, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> See? He's, uh... <laughs> He loves being petted. Very friendly, Jessica and Frank. So I don't think I was in any real serious danger. No, not at all. Hopefully there while that was going on. I don't know. Were you guys nervous? Well, uh, we were nervous, Steve, here in the studio. And then to have the crowd around you cheering. Yeah, it was a little flash, bit like go. gladiators, modern day. Uh, we appreciate that visual there, Steve, and all in a day's work, I suppose. Thanks so much. Uh, Mark. That was quite brave of yeah. the Cooge. And I guess if you have a dog that has a tendency of, uh, or whatever, you know, kind of yeah. tie him up or put him in the backyard and make sure, you, you know, the postman oh, yeah. can get around safely without even having to worry about that kind of stuff. All right, let's have a look at what is going on uh, as far as weather forecast goes. Clear skies, there's downtown, Staples Center in the background, 70.